Oh wow, this is a crazy find. Almost a million in total resource. Uh, and almost all of it is inside the collectors. And it's all in four corners of the base. So let's see, what we're gonna do is we're gonna attack from each corner. Um, let's first start by sending out some archers on some unprotected collectors. As you can see, that gold mine is almost out of range. Great. Is there any other collectors that are out of range? No, there aren't. But there are, there are a bunch of buildings that are out of range. So you should remove them just to create that space. So only requires one archer to do so on these uh, structures. We're going to place the archer on that camp. Looks like we can't avoid that, but that's fine. Uh, we're going to have one archer onto that barrack. Okay, great. Now let's start here. Remove those gold mines here. Send out two giants. And uh, also send out more archers right behind them to go for the gold go for the elixir collectors okay awesome and then we're gonna remove this spell factory place one two giant there and spread our archers here and there to go for the gold mines the gold collectors here nice and then we have Lots of elixir collectors left. So here what we're gonna do is we're gonna send out one, two, three giants and then open up that layer. Okay, great. And those giants are gonna go inside. We're gonna uh, deploy all our archers and all our barbarians here to go for the elixir collectors. Okay, looking good. and our archers should be able to take the rest of the uh, elixir inside that collector. Now we just have these two elixir collectors remaining. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna send out our giants here, one, two, three, four, and we're gonna send out our clan castle troops and open up that layer of wall. And instead of sending out our queen, we're gonna send out our, our king here and uh, that king should be able to very easily take the elixir collector. So we're just gonna activate our queen's ability here and we're just gonna head out. Uh, we don't really need the 50% because this is Silver League, not much loot bonus anyway. But we'll just get the trophies just to maintain some cups. So in total, we've got around 900,000 in total resource. Awesome. Great, over 600,000 in total resource. Uh, there is the town hall that's right outside here, so we're just going to place an archer, but it's protected by Teslas. Uh, so I guess we're then going to instead attack from the top here. We're going to spread our giants as usual, send out, uh, deploy barbarians on sides, archers on sides, and then we're going to spread them up top, open up the first layer, and also send in our hog riders right behind them and uh, send, <laughs> accidentally deployed all my uh, wall breakers, but that's fine. We're gonna place the heal spell right on top of those defenses and place the poison spell onto those uh, those uh, clan castle troops. And here we're just gonna use a raid spell since uh, we have all of these troops clumped together, grouped together right at the core. They're just gonna easily wreck through this whole base from the core. So we might be seeing a three star here, possibly, uh, but we just need the resource. So if my Archer Queen gets targeted, we'll end the raid, but looks like she's she's safe here. So uh, we're just gonna activate her ability since there's only just two cannons left here. And uh, she'll quickly remove those threats. Our King's at half health, so we're gonna activate his ability. Uh, and uh, we're also gonna try to go for the Town Hall. There's a Tesla there, but not a problem because we do have a giant and uh, our queen is still shielded, is still shielded by uh, the archer there. So we successfully got everything and three starred this base and we've managed to get over 625,000 in total resource. Awesome. 
Okay, crazy. Over 500,000 elixir and 376,000 gold. Uh, but it's all inside the collectors inside this base. Uh, he has his collectors inside the base, so that's pretty annoying. So that means I'm going to have to try and attempt to three-star this base. So let's see, we're gonna should we attack from the top or the right? Let's see, um We're gonna attack from the bottom. That way our troops can spread all the way towards the left and the right side as they make their way towards the top. So let's go. And uh the Barbarian King is right outside. We're gonna first start by removing these unguarded structures on the outside right here with the archers so they don't pull our troops. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna distract the king and those archers. Okay, there was uh, two bombs there. That's fine. Only lost a few barbarians. We're gonna open the first layer, and then send in our giants here. And as you can see, all those defenses are clumped together, so that's perfect for hog riders. Uh, we don't have to use our uh, heal spell yet because our giants are still shielding those hog riders. Those hog riders are also gonna remove the mortars. Now I really wish that I had my archer queen or a barbarian king for this raid. Uh, as this is without any any heroes and here we're gonna use that heal spell right on top of all of these clumped up defenses in this area so this is perfect those uh two or three hog riders can three hog riders are taking down all of those defenses awesome ah uh, no there was a spring trap there it took out those last hog riders so it looks like we couldn't manage to get uh, the other collectors on the top right and top left but we did manage to get a lot of resource so that's great because we did it without any heroes no king or queen okay here we have this very popular base uh, and it does have town hall 8 level defenses so we're gonna attack from this side, the right side, because there is a wizard tower that's weak over there, uh, only level five. So we're gonna we're gonna attack from this side. Mm, we have eight wall breakers. We don't have a jump spell, so like I usually jump here to the core. We're not gonna do that. What we're gonna do instead is uh, I'll show you. First, I'm gonna remove the army camps. Let's see, can we avoid the arch tower? No. I'm gonna use a few barbarians and a few archers to quickly remove that ar army camp. And same here, just three barbarians, three archers, uh, should do. Yep. All right, now let's see. Okay, we're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna send out one, two, two giants on the sides and two wall breakers right behind them. Send out our barbarians and then the rest of the giants. There are clan castle troops, that's fine. Just use a poison spell. And we're gonna send out more archers. Uh, open up that compartment over there. Okay, and now send that send out our hog riders right here. And what those hog riders are gonna do is they're gonna go right inside to all of these clump defenses. And what we're also gonna do is send out wall breakers right here and place a raid spell there, right where those wall breakers are targeting the walls, to open up both of those layers of walls, leading all my troops, well not all of them, most of them, uh, to the core. So here, as you can see, my troops have cored. Uh, giants are running towards that side, but that's fine. Uh, they are still going to allow my archers over there to get that elixir storage. So I'm still getting a lot of resource here. And right after my archer queen takes out that town hall, she should be going for the gold storage. Yep. So this is looking great. And we're just going to end it there right after we've taken enough gold. So over 400, over 540,000 in total resource. Nice. Nice, nice. 250,000 gold and 361,000 elixir. Uh, let's see, we're gonna attack from this side, bottom right, because you have two level 5 wizard towers here, you have two level 6 wizard towers there, so it's, mu it's just much better to attack from this side. And you also have that town hall there, uh, which is holding elixir. So in this case, we're just gonna attack from this side, we're gonna spread our giants and send out barbarians on the sides first and then finish it off with archers and barbarians behind them and while those defenses are distracted send in two groups of hog riders and also send out two groups of wall breakers to open up the uh, layers of walls there 
Now we don't have heal spell, we do have rage, so we're gonna use a rage instead right here and we're gonna try to couple that rage with wall breakers so we're just gonna send out all our wall breakers because right after they break open that compartment right here they're gonna go right for the inner core as you can see all those wall breakers going inside opened up both of those all of those layers of walls so that's awesome uh, king is going out here um all right that's fine we we, we should still be able to manage getting uh a good amount of resource as our queen breaks open the wall here and uh, goes inside with that giant while well, the king out there is uh he's still playing a decent role in shielding and distracting those defenses while my archers giant over here and that archer queen gets the storages here so this is this is actually looking very good we should be able to get all the storages except yeah we should be able to get all the storages actually so this is perfect we're just gonna end it there getting all the storages from this base awesome so we got all the resource almost uh, over 600,000 in total resource nice so as you can see here this is a very effective way of making lots of gold in elixir very quickly as you can see in the last 36 minutes here uh, I've made in total over 2.2 million resources so that's incredible Okay, that will be it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you guys again soon in the next episode. Later.